Hello, I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do the review over this new filament um, Bible. So this is totally a study Bible, a study Bible. You will never see another study Bible that says thin line ever. You will never combine those two unless it's this amazing Bible. So um, I'm going to show you the box, of course, like I always do before I get on in. So we have the Words of Christ in red. It is my sewn binding and a thousand cross references. So you're going to want to download this app um, before really diving into your Bible. You can get it at Apple and at the Google Play Store. This is what we're going to find inside of the Bible. I'm not able to show you the app. Um, and the first edition of this Bible, I did walk you through the app and I shared a couple of things, but this one I'm not able to because I am on my phone and that's the only thing I have <laughs> to look up anything on. So it has, look at how many videos, I mean, it has a lot of information. So if you're on the go and you just want a study Bible right there with you, this is the perfect Bible to take. Um, and if you're like, I don't know, the, young, the younger generation, I really feel this is the perfect Bible for them because they're on their phone anyways all the time. Why not get them a Bible that can really tie in the two together? So look at this cover. Oh, I love that little cross. That is a beautiful, beautiful touch. There's foiling. It is um, imprinted in the Bible. There is perimeter stitching. And it's super thin. This is a study Bible, you guys. We have the ISBN number. Oh, yeah, let me share on the box, too. There it is. All right, so that is the box. Oh, it says right here. <laughs> Buy the Bible, download the app, and experiment filament. Highly, 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 highly recommend you guys get this Bible. All right. All right. It's, I love the size of this. The size is a perfect. It's really thin. We have a beautiful cream, just like the cover, paste down liner, a presentation page. We have Psalms 119, 105, verse 105. The title page now this is a brand new Bible it just came out in 2020 we have all the covers that are available here so that's that's amazing you can get it a lot of different covers we have the introduction oh, okay there's why to choose this Bible note to the reader the introduction to this translation. This is in the NLT translation. And it is a two column format. We have our references down here in the right hand side, side along with the footnotes. I do like the, um, the, I guess the margin around the Bible. You can totally write not too much, but you can like put in a reference or a quick small note on the side. This is a study Bible. All the study notes will be on the app for each page. So I do believe you just scan or I don't know exactly because I, like I said, I just have my phone so I can't show you all how to do it. But it walks you through how to tie in this Bible to the app. It is a two column format. It is a eight point font. It's line match, so that means the um, sentence, the whole line of the sentence will match the back page too, so there's less distraction. And for like the, um, the paper, there's not a lot of bleed through at all. I mean, let's give you a close look up uh, at it. That's amazing. And you've seen, you can get it for $30, which means you could probably get it a lot cheaper. 
So for a Bible that price, that is super, super good. We all know I love coming to the Psalms. Let's get there. I love it. All right, come back here in the red letter. Oh, that red letter is different. Yeah, that's a different red letter. So it's not really like a pink. Oh, I don't know how to. It almost has like this. Um, I want to say like a purple. It's just like a maroon color red. It's not like a dark, dark, deep red. Let me take you off the tripod. Bring you down here so you can check it out. Look at that. It is obviously a red color, but there's there's something special about this red color. It yeah, that's surprising. I don't know about like the consistency, like if it stays like that, because I just opened it up and I haven't really went through the Bible. Wow, that is super good. It's surprising, like again, for the price of this Bible. Alright. Now it is fighting to stay open um, that has a lot to do with never being used so once you use it more it will stay open you just gotta wear it out now the words of Christ it looked like it was over here yeah it comes over here in um, all the way through revelation not all red letters do that So we have, trying to get to the last page of Revelations, we have Tyndale's Verse Finders. So if you want to look up a certain verse, we have subjects to look up. That's pretty cool. I like that. If you want subjects over faith, you look up faith and you go through all these scriptures. There's no concordance, which is super cool. We have a visual overview of the Bible. So it's going to talk over 14 different things. We have, oh, we have the plagues. Check out the plagues over here. So this is not going to be like the normal 15 maps. It's just going to give you a straight overview of the whole Bible. The book of Psalms. Each color means and represents a different theme. That's so cool. I wonder why more, more Bibles don't do this. That is really, really cool. And I'm sure there's so much more on their app too. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so this is the regular size. They also sent me two um, large prints. Let me back you up the other way. So they sent two large prints. This is the regular size. I have a purple and like a beautiful teal. They also in the thin line. I'll get them both out so you can look at them both. That purple one is beautiful. Oh, so is this teal one. Okay, before I forget. So for the purple... I'll show you the ISBN number for that one. This is for the purple. Right? And for the teal, we got this one. Okay, now check out this teal. Look at that print. They all have like um, their covers. They're like embossed feeling. So there is a texture that is super, super cool. I like the leaves on it, the flowers. That's beautiful. That really is beautiful. This is with silver gilding. It's the same Smithsonian. We have um, blue matching head and tail bands. This nice um, tan, it's like a cream color. I don't know exactly what color. I would call it like a cream color, like a peach. It looks like a peach color to me. I don't want to take up a lot of time here. Yeah, it's blush pink is what they're calling it. That That's a beautiful color. So this blush pink color has gold. We have the teal with silver and the purple 
with silver. So the purple, they all have the matching head and tail bands will match the cover of the Bible along with one ribbon marker. And the purple has a nice teal one. The blush peach has a peach one and then the teal has a um, teal cover. So these last two are both large prints. Ooh, look at that end page. That is beautiful. Everything is exactly the same as the first one, so I'm not going to walk all through that. We're just going to compare the two sizes. So I think the large print is what? About 11, I would take a guess. They don't say what the size of the Bibles are or the print size. So yeah, to me, this looks like an about an an 11. I would say 12, but it really looks, really looks like an 11 to me. It may be 12, you guys, so I'm just guessing. 11 or 12. And this over here is an 8. So very, 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 very readable. The paper is still the same in both Bibles. All right. Um, the red letter come back here. Oh, yeah, still the same. So, yeah, literally everything's the same except for the size of the print. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, Tyndale, for providing this channel with these Bibles. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Yeah, this, this just looks, and it looks, when you go off and read it, like, look at this. You can just, it fits in your hand perfectly. Even if you do get the large print, even though, like, it's a bigger Bible, it's not, this is a study Bible, too, y'all. Study Bible. This isn't so, like, wieldy, like, too big, like, where you couldn't pack it in a book bag. It's literally, like, the size of a, like, a normal Bible. It's, like, a little bit taller, so that's the only the only difference to me, um, comparing them two together. So that's like literally you're just a couple of inches from the normal size of the Bible. They both are the exact same width. You just get one wider and a little bit longer. So, okay. If you do have any questions, you all, please leave them in the comments below. I love talking to you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our father's art box today. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.